Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here on this overcast day. I was just out picking some berries and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a video response to one of my subscribers. Her name is Jackie and she also goes by the name of Backpack Jack and as soon as I saw her on YouTube I knew I had to subscribe to her regardless of what her videos were because we share the same last name. So I'm just going to roll out a little ground sheet and uh, get on with the video. Okay, so Jackie is celebrating reaching the milestone of 100 subscribers on our channel. And I remember when I reached 100, it was uh, quite a big deal for me because I really didn't think I'd have that many followers. Anyway, what Jackie wanted us to do was to give her some tips about the outdoors, whether it's like scheduling time for outdoors or planning outdoors or just some other tips. So I gave it some thought and what I decided to do was talk about first aid. Now it's always important to carry a first aid kit when you're outdoors. So what I did is I picked up this little pouch for two dollars, something like that. Now it came with band-aids, alcohol swabs and a couple other things and what I've done is I've added some more things to it because there was quite a bit of room left in the pouch. So this is my first aid kit, alcohol pads. Blistex uh, lip balm, a mirror, a small Swiss Army knife, tape, a roll of gauze, a couple of small gauze pads, and various size bandages. Oh, and also a mirror um, so then you can treat your own face. And a pair of scissors. Jackie, since you often travel with your kids, there's a few kid-specific things that I'd like to mention as well. Um, kids have a tendency to run ahead or whatever, and then they'll trip and fall over things, and so they'll scrape the palms of their hands and their knees. So what you really should do for a, a large area like that is get a larger bandage, and probably some uh, poly to go. It's a it's a little spray applicator and it sprays polysporin antibiotic onto the wound. Um, it would be a lot better than trying to spread some antibiotic cream on the site. Another thing that you should carry is some Benadryl because you never know. The kids are going to touch something that they're allergic to or get some kind of a rash and uh, anyway the, the Benadryl will help ease their symptoms. And an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure so it's also a good idea to bring along some sunscreen and insect repellent. Speaking of first aid, the thing that normally happens to me when I'm out is I get little cuts on my hands. So the best thing to prevent those is a pair of gloves. It's as simple as that. And these are just the gloves that you wear in your backyard garden. I just make sure that I always pack a pair. So Jackie, I hope these tips help you out and make your outdoor excursions a little more enjoyable. Congratulations again on reaching 100 subscribers. It's really quite a feat. And may you have many, many more. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out.